guys, I'm going to show you what, how I cook any kind of pasta, any kind of rice or anything else. Like, um, just a trick that I use. So, I put my water in a pan and then I add about this much. Um, it's not really, a, maybe a tablespoon, okay? And this is just um, coconut oil. If I don't have coconut oil, I will add whatever oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil I have. And that is what is going to keep your um, pasta from sticking together. That way you don't have to stand here and stir it and stir it forever. So, and you see, it dissolves really fast. And then I go ahead and I put a, depending on how much I'm cooking, I put a fairly large amount of salt in here, in this water, so that as my pasta is cooking, it's getting seasoned as well. I, I, when I strain it, I still rinse it, you know, so all the extra is coming off. And it's not really a lot, it's just enough to add enough flavor. Um, so yeah, that's my tip for cooking any kind of pasta or rice. I'm going to add these bow pastas and I'm actually going to cook this whole thing because I like, I don't know. This <laughs> I cook like this even though it's just two of us because that way I'm not back in the kitchen in an hour or you know what I mean. So here's my pasta and I'm actually probably going to have to add a little bit more water. There's my pasta. Let it cook up. This pasta in particular, the box says, takes um, 11 minutes. But I did not let it come to a boil, so it will probably be a little bit longer than that. I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, you guys, so other than the pasta noodles that you see me already get started you're gonna need some tomatoes and some other produce um, of your choice really you can make this recipe your own whatever you like you'll see like whatever you like on your BLT that's what you would put on here minus the mayonnaise you're gonna use other dressings for that so I'm using baby spinach I think the recipe calls for like romaine lettuce or iceberg lettuce or something like that I'm using spinach that's what I had on hand I'm using bacon, uh, pork bacon. You can use whatever kind of bacon you want. If you want turkey bacon, you can use that. I'm using this bacon. Also, I'm using a bell pepper. Um, that's something I'm adding to it. Also, avocado tastes really good in this, but I didn't have any. Um, and on the actual recipe, it calls for craft. It calls for craft Italian dressing, and it calls for craft uh, ranch dressing. But I didn't have that um, in my pantry. I picked up the Kraft Italian dressing, but I already had this kind of ranch, so that's what I'm using. And then this is the pasta, which you already seen me get started. And I put the whole box in there. So you're going to use one half a cup of ranch, and then you're going to use one whole cup of this Italian dressing and that will be the entire bottle actually. So, um, I'm going to add this half of an onion and I always, if I keep my onion in my fridge after I've opened it, I always keep it in a separate container so that everything in my refrigerator does not end up smelling like an onion 
tasting like an onion. I don't like get overpowered with onion as soon as I open the door. I do love onion, but not enough to just live and breathe onion. And so you're going to cut this up same way you cut up the bell pepper in those types of cubes. If you really want it small, you can do like that right there and just um, dice it in half and then dice it. I'm not that great of an onion chopper, so like I started off trying to cut it here, but then you'll see me stop and use my food processor to just chop it up really quickly. <laughs> 